It's, it's just devastating. When you see just what mud, what water does, it just destroys stuff, moves stuff. I, I just can't imagine being over there and living through that. Communities living in a new world of recovery with so many people still unaccounted for. Tireless rescue efforts enhanced by the Civil Air Patrol. Close to 50,000 volunteers. Emergency services, for the most part, what we do is get called out to support another entity. In this case, the helping hand is being extended to the Kentucky National Guard, acting as eyes and ears from up above to give guidance to rescue crews. Communication is line of sight, basically, for the for aircraft and the radios we use. So me looking at you, I can talk to you. Now, if there's a mountain in the way, that signal's not going to get there. If there's somebody up overhead at, say, 8,000, 10,000 feet, that signal gets transmitted to them. They can repeat it. All the other helicopters on the other side of ridges or mountains, as well as the Emergency Operations Center in Frankfurt, can hear that. It's a heck of an opportunity for us to, you know, to help out our fellow Kentuckians that are down there suffering. Major Ken Morse understands more than most what the rescue crews are going through. A military veteran with experience flying Black Hawk helicopters connecting with the pilots spending hours in the air surveying damage. Those guys are getting into some pretty tight areas and, and um, some of their rescues are, uh, from what I've heard, are, you know, they're, they're pretty harrowing and to be able to turn around and communicate back down to those guys, I, I, you know, this was, I was right in my element in, 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 in helping them out. We're all volunteers and so people have given up time, vacation time, uh, taken off from their jobs and then they're donating that hopefully to help uh, resolve this situation in eastern Kentucky because it's going to be ongoing for quite some time. Civilians dedicated to serving on the ground and in the air to help save as many lives as they can. In Lexington, Evan Leak, LEX 18 News.